Hi, now we've got an example here on the Poisson distribution. If you'd like to uh, try it, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. And if you want any tutorials on the Poisson distribution, there's plenty on my website, examsolutions.net. Okay, well, what we've got here is that in a village, power cuts occur randomly at a rate of three per year. And what we've got to do is find the probability that in any given year, there will be exactly seven power cuts and at least four power cuts. Now to do something like this, first of all, we need to define a random variable. So I'm going to say, let X be that random variable. And we'll say, let X be the random variable. Just use RV for short. And then it's going to be the number of, we'll just abbreviate that, number of power cuts. Now, these are occurring at a rate of three per year. So I'm going to just write a slash like that, and that's going to be per year. And this gives us a clue to what distribution it's going to be. We've got a discrete random variable. Events, I'm assuming, are independent, and they occur at a mean rate in an interval of time. So this is going to tell us that x follows a Poisson distribution. So we'll just say here where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution. Now, the mean is the only parameter in here, and it's three per year. So it's a Poisson distribution with a mean of three. So when it comes to working out in part A then, part one, the probability of getting exactly seven power cuts, that's the probability that x equals seven. And there's two ways that we can do this. One is directly through the formula. You should be familiar with this. That is, if x follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda, then the probability that x equals r is equal to e to the power minus lambda multiplied by lambda to the power r all over r factorial. So if you work it out by that method, I'll show you the other in a moment, but uh, if you work it out through this method, it's going to be equal to e to the power minus lambda, the lam lambda the mean is 3, so that's e to the power minus 3, and then you've got 3 to the power r, which is 7, and it's all divided by 7 factorial. And if you work that out on your calculator, what you should find you get is 0 0.021604, and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 0.0216 to 3SF. Now, I did say that we could do this another way, so we'll just put OR here. The other way is to use the cumulative Poisson distribution tables. And I'll bring you up an extract of those in a moment. But what they do is that they give us the probability that our random variable x is less than or equal to an observed value x for some given value of lambda. So all you've got to do when we're looking up probability x equals 7 is work out what the probability of x being less than or equal to 7 is. And then from this, subtract the probability that x is less than or equal to 6. And that will just leave us then with the probability x equals 7. And from our tables, if you look under 7, under the mean of 3, you should find that you get 0.9881. So you got 0.9881. And from this, you subtract the probability of x being less than or equal to 6, which is 0.9. 9665. And if you do that subtraction, what you get is 0.0216. Okay, so that agrees nicely with the version up here. Now, in the second part of this one, we've got to work out the probability that there'll be at least four power cuts. So for that one, part two, the probability then that x is at least four 
pay our cuts is going to be x is greater than or equal to 4. Now because this is an infinite, uh, it's got an infinite number of probabilities here, it could be x could be 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on, we have to do the converse which is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. And we can use our commutative probability tables here. Because if you look under the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 down here, you should see 0.6472. So it's going to be 1 minus 0.6472. And if you do that subtraction, you'll end up with 0.3528. Okay.